I coughed every day, not one day stopping for 20 years. And I'm not saying, <laughs> I'm talking about the kind of cough that you will feel as if there's fire inside of you in your chair. In the midst of that, I have two children. In the midst of that, I work full time on the same thing, stop to me. And out of those 20 years, I spent seven years on oxygen. Okay. You people out. Do I want to sit in my house and cry for the next rest of my life? Or I'm going to shake up myself if life fell me down. I pick up myself, I shake up the dust, and I move. All right? Because it's what you make of what happened to you that you're going to get out of it. Know that your life is never in vain. Nothing that happens to you catches God in our fears. Whether you're a Christian or not, better believe it. God knows your name. He knows your outside dress. And he knows what is happening to you at any point in time. The fact that something bad happens to you does not mean that God has abandoned you. Because if I say God has abandoned you, after 20 years of coughing, 70 years of oxygen, I don't even know how much you spent. Uh -huh. If I count it, I will die. Three years on a ventilator, six weeks of the coma, on top of all of that, the two legs come up. I say, God has said that, is that it? We won't be here together. So you just need to know that God is good. When you say God is good all the time, we need to know exactly what that means for us. So God is good, even when situations are not pleasant. God does not change.